It's been claimed that most Scots would be prepared to pay more council tax if it meant better local services. The council tax hasn't gone up for seven years, but councils have had to make millions of pounds worth of cuts and expect that to continue in the years ahead. Our local government correspondent, Jamie McIver, is with us. Jamie. Well, Sally, the Scottish Government sees the council tax freeze as an achievement. It hasn't gone up since 2007. But would you want to pay more if it meant better roads, schools or care for the elderly? Well, a survey conducted for a group looking at ideas for the future of local government suggests most of us would. Two-thirds said they'd be prepared to pay more council tax if they could be guaranteed the money would go on local services. And only about half think their council has enough money to deliver the services their community needs. Dalmuir Golf Course in Clyde Bank is run by the council. It's considering cutting the size of the course, one of several potential options to balance the local budget. With every year of austerity, finding new ways to save money gets harder. And the council leader isn't surprised by the findings of the poll. It's exactly the type of feedback that we get every year when we do our budget consultations. We have a, a very strong uh, part of our community who come out and say, why don't you increase council tax and protect services? It's a very simple and strong message and, and it's something which we, we do consider every year, uh, but we are essentially uh, hemmed in by the, the Scottish Government policy. In the streets nearby, mixed views. How would you feel about paying a wee bit more council tax if it meant fewer cuts to local services? The council tax, I really don't agree with at all, but we've got to pay for it. Yeah, I'd like to know where the money was going to and stuff. So I think we've already had um, an awful lot of cutbacks as it is. Across Scotland, the poll suggests many of us would accept paying more, at least if we could be guaranteed better services. It was carried out for a cross-party group looking years ahead. I think what the people are saying to us is how money is spent. If money is getting spent badly, nobody is going to like that. If money is getting spent well, if the public money is getting spent well, they're telling us that they are content that public money should be spent on the services that matter. Opinion polls, I suppose, can sometimes give you the answer that you want, but in truth, at the Scottish Parliament elections, people voted for a council tax freeze through the duration of the Parliament. That's what they're getting. That's a great relief at a hard-pressed household. Across by-elections and across local campaigns, people support the council tax freeze. That's a reality, and no wonder when other household bills are rising. Now, the group the polling was done for is looking at how to strengthen local democracy across Scotland once the referendum is out of the way. The details released tonight also suggest most of us want more say in how local services are run, and only a minority of us feel part of how decisions are made. But with austerity set to continue for some time, it's a suggestion so many might be prepared to pay more council tax that may well provoke the most lively debate, Sally. Thanks very much.